Okay, Dr. Jacobson, you might have to bear with me just a little bit. Um, I have a few things open with different notes that I've taken for this documentary, but um, the one that I picked was Misrepresentation, and I had seen it on Netflix just as a documentary that I could watch. Um, I hadn't ever seen it um, prior to this assignment. Um, it is about how women are misrepresented in today's media. Um, it mainly talks about how strict the rules on how women should behave um, in their lives is portrayed in media and how influential media can be in our lives. Um, as of right now, women in media are, um, are portrayed as objects, are portrayed as um, not human beings, as based off of their sexuality or their beauty or their um, lower social class than men in most media um, viewings of women. Um, which puts unrealistic expect expectations for women, which is um, a challenge. It's hard because if men continue to view this or, or people as in total continue to view this, it just discriminates women more and more and more. Um, this documentary is largely based off of statistical evidence as it tries to prove the, the issue that that we see in today's society. Um, there's many CEOs and activists and other stories um, that are portrayed in this documentary. There aren't very many main characters per se, but the writer and producer herself, Jennifer Seibel Newsom, um, is a white woman who is now roughly in her 40s. Um, she grew up in kind of a middle-class family. Um, she had lost her older sister um, when she was six to an accident, and it made her feel the need to play the role as the older sister and the younger sister. Um, and so she channeled all of this pain and anguish into sports that she played. And this caused other feelings to arise, such as the need to be better, to be physically attractive, to be um, the unrealistic standard that media portrays for women. And so due to this pressure that media and society caused on her, she developed an, de developed an eating disorder that consumed a large part of her life. Um, another character that I decided to analyze was Devanshi Patel. Um, she is an Indian woman and the documentary, documentary portrays a lot of her hardships as she grew up trying to climb the social ladder, um, as, as they say. She ran for many offices in high school and in middle school trying to become um, an influential person and she faced a lot of sexism with that. She lost on multiple occasions to males. Um, even though she was seen as the more qualified candidate. She, um, there were a lot of remarks in her behalf that, um, but were backhandedly sexist saying she's smart for a woman. She speaks well for a woman. Um, and that a lot of people focused on her body, her physical appearance, rather than the meat of what she was running for, what, what her purpose was as a candidate in these um, positions. Um, now, to talk about me for a second, um, I am a 20-year-old white male. I, over the course of my life, I've seen challenges and difficulties I live in a family with two older brothers um, and then my two parents. I come from a very strong Christian background and hold strong to those beliefs. And 
I personally haven't seen a direct issue of sexism in my life up until this point, up until taking this class, mainly because both of my brothers, um, well, in my whole family, it is dominantly male. My father owns a physical therapy clinic, and he is the main source of income for the family. Um, and it doesn't get brought up. Sexism is never a really topic of discussion in my family. Um, but with that being said, we've seen a, a few different um, social classes that we've lived through. Me personally, I was born the same year that my dad opened his physical therapy clinic. So in my early years of growing up, um, we really didn't have very much. We didn't have very much money or means to provide for very much. Uh, progressively, things got better. Obviously, we, we are now a very well-off family that, um, that thrives in this clinic. Um, but we still don't live the very fancy or extravagant lifestyle. Um, I would say we live a above middle class or on the lower end of the upper class. Um, but a lot of my struggles come from the stereotypical male traits. Um, growing up, I was always an athlete. I, I played multiple sports. I played baseball, football, soccer, and I ended up playing a lot of golf. And so with that being said, golf was seen as the sport with money that I was a rich kid because I was playing golf and that I was not manly, that I was femi for playing golf, um, which was a, a pretty large struggle in a, large, in a big part of my life. Um, but um, those are some of my personal struggles with sexism and things. When comparing myself to the two characters, um, I would say both of these characters in the movie were impacted largely by society's gender norms. Um, me personally, I, I've been affected as well. I've seen a large effect in my life as well. Not to the degree of theirs. I, I have a hard time comparing myself to them because I, I don't see um, these large issues. I, I haven't been turned down um, for running for a position, even though I'm more qualified than a woman, nor, nor have I seen. But I have seen a lot of sexism in my life. I've seen that I have been benefited. I, I have been privileged due to being male rather than female. Um, but to compare myself, I would say I developed a an eating disorder for a short period of time while trying to gain weight. I've always been kind of underweight, and while playing golf and playing different sports, I wanted to gain weight. So I worked out, and I, I put myself on a very strict diet, and I couldn't gain weight. I just couldn't do it, and I... I kind of body shamed myself for a while. So comparing myself to the, the director and producer of the documentary, I can relate to her to an extent in that sense. Um, and in Devanchi's experience, I have been let down in some instances and I have seen myself put into positions over women, um, even though they were probably more qualified, which is is not acceptable actually when i was in the seventh grade i got a yearbook position and a girl didn't but um, she was probably more qualified now how would i behave in their positions i would say i would probably behave in similar ways that they did um Devanchi rose above them and was a stronger person a higher person and the director and producer jennifer um, went into a hard pit for a while, but she came out of it. Um, but Devanchi's glass ceiling um, didn't stop her. It, 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 it helped her rise to become better. Um, I see that I'm running out of time, so I'll cut it now, but thank you.